Hi guys, welcome to Younger. I'm Dr. Stephanie Cappell. I'm a board certified dermatologist and today I'm going to be talking about Retin-A. So Retin-A is a vitamin A derivative and this comes in many flavors. It can be retinoic acid, Retin-A, tretinoin, isotretinoin, uh, retinol. And so the big categories are the over-the-counters versus the prescription strings. So retinol is an over-the-counter and Retin-A or tretinoin is a prescription strain. Prescription strains can come in different percentages, which increases in strength. So it comes in a 0.025%, 0.05%, 0 0.1%, and it can come in different vehicles. It can come in a gel, it can come in a cream, or it can come in a micro emulsion. So dermatologists love these products, but it's important to use the right percentage, the right vehicle, and the right frequency so that you don't get turned off from using the product and you can benefit from the many benefits that it has on the skin. So on a cellular level, retin -A does many things. It's helpful for acne, it's helpful for anti-aging properties, and it can reduce photo damage and reverse skin, sun damage that has happened from years of, of sun exposure. So the way it helps with acne is it helps the keratinocytes, which are the little skin cells, from being sticky inside our pores. So when the pores are kind of clogged with these sticky skin cells, it clogs the pores and causes inflammation and causes the proliferation of the P. acne's bacteria and it can cause whiteheads, blackheads, and can cause acne to get worse. So making those little skin cells stop being sticky and opening up the pores so that the skin can breathe helps with fighting acne. Now sometimes when patients with acne start on Retin-A, they can have a purging of the skin where your acne temporarily gets worse for maybe a week or two. This doesn't happen that often. It's honestly less than like 20% of the time, but I like to prepare patients for that because I don't want you to get turned off by it and stop using the product because you have a flare. It's after you get over the hump or that little downtime, then you reap the benefits of, of the uh, Retin-A without having the, the flare and the continuation of the acne. So moving on to the anti-aging properties of it, there's three main things that Retin-A or Tretinoin does. It stimulates collagen. Collagen is produced by fibroblasts, which are cells in our skin. And as we get older and gain wisdom and have birthdays, and even starting in our 20s, we start to lose collagen. And that's what contributes to saggy skin, fine lines and wrinkles, and less than perfect texture of our skin. So by stimulating collagen, that has anti-aging benefits and helps our skin looking its best. A second thing that it does is it regulates the cell cycle. So all these keratinocytes and cells in our skin have a cell cycle that needs to be regulated at a regular pattern. The third thing that it does is it increases cellular renewal. So what that means is when you look at the epidermis, which is the upper layer of the skin, it has multiple levels. At the bottom, you have the baby brainy skin cells that are rapidly dividing and they mature as they move up and then they kind of peel off or slough off over time. So in a younger individual, like in a child or an adolescent, that's happening so rapidly and so fast. That's why kids have this nice, smooth skin without visible pores and they have this beautiful skin. And as we get older, even in like late adolescence and 20s and 30s and so forth, that slows down. And so the skin cells get kind of flaky and they stop working and they get kind of dull and they hang around and they clog pores and they cause fine lines and wrinkles. And once you kind of increase that cellular turnover and get those baby skin cells to mature fast and be sloughed off, you're constantly renewing those cells. You're constantly turning over your skin and it's active and it's viable and it's healthy. And so that's what Retin-A helps us do as well. So we always like our patients to start slow because we want to dip your toe in the pool and not throw you in the pool. So once you start to build a tolerance to it, then you'll start to notice the benefits of it and you'll love it. It'll be a lifelong habit, just like taking your supplements, eating clean, going to the gym, taking care of your body. You wanna take care of your skin and retin is one of the best things that you can do for your skin. I always tell my patients, if you're stranded on an island somewhere and you can only do three things, sunscreen, Retin-A and Botox are the three things that you could do to keep your skin looking young as long as you can. So when I start my patients off, we always like to use a pea-sized amount, which is like a pearl-sized amount in the palm of your hand. We have you mix it with whatever moisturizer that you use of your choice. And we have you make a dot, 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 dot over your whole face and connect the dots. And I have my patients start that once a week. And I have them do that for about a two week interval. So just two doses of it, once a week for two weeks. And then you'll kind of see the benefits of it without getting too red, dry, or peely. And then I have my patients increase to twice a week for two weeks. Then they're kind of getting the hang of it. They're starting to see that their skin's looking better. They're not getting too chapped, irritated, red, dry, peely. And then for the third session, I have them do it up to three times a week and then four times a week. 
and finally every other day, and finally once once a day. And I say day, I actually mean night, because we usually apply our retin-A at night. And so well, as you build a tolerance, your skin will start to get stronger, healthier, it'll get hydrated, and it'll be healthier on a cellular level, so you'll manifest with this beautiful skin without all that irritation and downtime. If you use too much too fast, you're gonna totally hate it. You're gonna be red, dry, peely, irritated, and think it's the worst thing ever. And so I always tell my patients to start slow and kind of increase as time goes on. You can also increase the percentage of retinoic acid. So, you know, maybe start with a 0.025% and then work your way up to 0.05% and then finally work your way up to 0.1%. Now this is gonna happen over like the course of several months or even a year. And there's no, there's no downside to going slow because if you go too much too fast, you're gonna hate it and you're not gonna use it anyway. So it's kind of like being deconditioned and not fit and going to the gym, getting a gym membership. You're gonna have to go through those several sessions of working out where you're gonna be sore, but you're not gonna gain muscle and get fit unless you go through those sessions and you get sore and then you get stronger and then you're finally going to the gym several times a week and you're lifting heavier weights and you're not getting sore and you're looking good and feeling good and it's good for your body. It's kind of the same thing. So take home message is dermatologists love retinoic acid or vitamin A derivatives. You have to start slow, less is more. Just because your skin's getting beat up and you're using the strongest percent doesn't mean that it's not necessarily the best thing for you. You gotta work your way up and you'll eventually get there. Now, the majority of this conversation we've had has been focused on the prescription strength of tretinoin or retinoic acid. On the flip side, we have over-the-counter retinol. So retinol is a more milder and weaker form of vitamin A derivative, and this is non-prescription strength. This is over-the-counter, and you can actually use it day or night. So unlike tretinoin, which is the prescription stronger strength, which gets deactivated by the UV light or sunlight, retinol actually stays stable, and you can actually use it in the morning, and I use it every morning, and I use my retin-A at night. Now using both of them together takes a little titrating up to get to that point. But once you get to that point, your skin cells will be healthy on a cellular level, which will manifest this beautiful skin and anti-aging properties for life. The other thing I like to switch up on my patients is you never want to use the same product, you know, for months and months and months at a time. It's good to mix it up. So maybe you switch from a cream to a gel, or maybe you switch up the frequency or the strength of the Retin-A. Um, a lot of patients have asked me, does it thin your skin? The answer is no. I mean, there is less than maybe 5% of the patient population that uses Retin-A that will have thinning of the skin, but that's if they're consistently using the same percentage for the course of many years. And so we usually like to switch it up, just like we switch up our skincare regimens or our supersets at the gym. Always switching it up is best because it keeps your body guessing, keeps your body on your toes, and it will allow you to have the benefits. So I hope this helps you guys. I'm a big advocate of Retin-A and Tretinoin family products. And as a dermatologist, I endorse it. And many of my colleagues do too. Um, there's overwhelming research and data. It's approved by the FDA to have anti-aging effects, anti-cancer effects, and anti-acne properties as well. So there's no reason that someone should not be on a Retin-A or a retinoid. And it's just a matter of what's best for you. Um, have your dermatologist evaluate your skin and write you a prescription, or if you kind of just want to test it out, you can buy a retinol over the counter and see how you do with it. So you have to crawl before you walk, start off slow, and just kind of work your way up to it. And I promise you'll reap the benefits of it and thank me later. I hope this helps you guys.